Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Talk Show. Uh, my name is Narayan Gokhale and I am the Vice President and Principal Analyst uh, here in Quadrant Knowledge Solutions and I look after research as well as user consulting. So as a part of Talk Show, you know, we talk about various topics and uh, today I am going to talk about one such topic known as Field Service Management or FSM. So uh, one of the domains that I look after is IoT and digitalization and within that uh, there is a subject or a subdomain called as asset management. Within that we cover uh, subjects such as enterprise asset management, asset performance management, uh, service lifecycle management and the likes. So uh, field service management happens to be one of those categories and we'll talk about that particular uh, uh, subject in this particular episode. So we'll start with you know what is FSM or what is FSM software per se. So as the name implies FSM which is field services management. So any service operations that take place outside of office into the field is what you know is being covered under field service management and common examples like our example like you know regular maintenance activities field services and so a software that kind of automates this particular workflow uh, and it optimizes all the aspects of field service management is the field service management application software and we are basically talking going to talk about this particular FSM application software in today's episode. So the primary goal of uh, the FSM software is to improve the operational efficiency and provide real time visibility into the field service activities. Then uh, let's look at some of the common capabilities that uh, you know uh, field service uh, so field service management software has. So first and foremost of course would be like you know the work orders that are getting generated. So work order management right from their initiation up to completion. Then once you have the work orders generated then like how are they scheduled and dispatched. So the scheduling and dispatching becomes another important capability uh, in order to assign the tasks and the technicians. Then comes you know the inventory management because you're talking about services here. So uh, what are uh, how is the inventory in terms of the spare parts? Uh, uh, has that been assigned to the field technicians? How is it being tracked and managed? And then uh, the mobile accessibility or the mobile workforce uh, that is assigned to the particular activities in terms of the work orders, uh, customer information and other necessary data. Another important aspect for field service is route optimization. Uh, you know how best the field force can be utilized in terms of attending those regular maintenance calls or inspection calls. So uh, that uh, then leads to you know has to lead to a proper customer communication in order to get uh, the work work done and ensure uh, customer satisfaction and then of course it's like the reporting and analytics how is the field service function doing uh, you know and analytics in terms of predictive maintenance and other things that can of course uh, you know happen and more and more we see now uh, FSM solutions are being deployed on the cloud for scalability purposes. Okay, now uh, having looked at you know the key capabilities, let let's talk about you know what are the main or broad categories of FSM. So roughly there are two broad categories. One is appointment centric FSM, and the second one is asset centric. So appointment centric is where you know where repetitive appointment kind of work is scheduled, and the other one is asset centric where it's little more complex and uh, you know little unique uh, because we have to focus not only on the visits uh, but also optimize the transportation time and most importantly the end users have to get a feeling that their asset is properly taken care of uh, because of the complexities and the knowledge and experience that is required for that particular asset. Okay so then how has this FSM evolved over the years? So of course there were manual systems uh, earlier starting with just excel sheets and later on uh, it it has come to what is now known as like you know connected uh, you know field or uh, connected frontline workers management systems uh, so it has evolved quite a bit over the last few years and uh, earlier it was mainly related to 
uh, what is called as uh, uh, only uh, on the appointments then to technicians and then to assets so it has taken that entire route and uh, then we have got the mobile capability embedded into it the ar vr analytics as we just talked about so uh, the evolution is in line with other softwares that is happening even for the fsm software okay so uh, uh, then uh, let's look at some other aspects like you know what would be the typical uh, trends or differentiators for the field service management uh, software so first and foremost is like iot and remote monitoring because you would expect that the iot devices would provide a lot of information in terms of the asset health secondly ability to manage the, the force the workforce that is on the field uh, remotely through experts that is another important thing uh, that is uh, as, uh, is very much essential and then you have got now ar and vr platforms that are that is the augmented reality and the virtual reality that again through with the help of remote monitoring is able to assist uh, the frontline workers then then we have the entire service life cycle management that is being taken care of uh, most importantly some of the other thing is like you know geographical information systems the exact location of the asset the exact location of the vehicle the exact location of the personnel or the field service uh, personnel who is kind of attending to that that is also uh, you know nowadays being tracked and most importantly what are activities that happens as a part of field service are they really happen, uh, you know helping the sustainability goals the net zero goals so all those are kind of uh, trending topics in fsm and also becoming differentiators for various uh, vendors there okay now uh, now let's delve a little further into the subject and look at you know what are the typical use cases like where exactly uh, you know fsm software is used so as as i just mentioned earlier it is moved from appointment centric to technician centric to asset centric you would find applications you know where uh, there is it's very asset incentive like for example uh, you have linear assets in utilities utilities like gas water and electricity so they they have to deliver continuous service and they have to have very minimum outage so it is at these places you would find that the fsn software finds maximum uh, you know applications and some of the common use cases there are leak detection smart meter deployment and installation customer service then talking about asset inspection and maintenance uh, distribution network construction and of course handling emergencies and if there is any emergency response or damage control that is required then from utilities we move to oil and gas again pipeline detection remote inspection uh, are some of the important you know use cases healthcare is another use cases which is emerging very strong especially after the pandemic where you want to deploy healthcare personnel whether it's for lab technicians nurses or any of those uh, categories which have to go to different uh, you know uh, uh, places both on a b2b and a b2c uh, kind of applications then construction sites uh, you know construction workers uh, is another uh, area uh, you know where lot of field service is required uh, then telecom utilities uh, is another place again checking all the cabling the fault detection uh, the inspections that requires a lot of field service and other one is in transportation again uh, you got mobile assets there those need to be kind of inspected maintained and service provided so these are the places where uh, most of the use cases generally take place another important key use cases of course into manufacturing uh, where we have shop floor maintenance failure analysis uh, then uh, virtual training for operators remote quality checks and just in time knowledge management okay so uh, having looked at all these aspects now let us see who are the major suppliers or vendors in fsm market so uh, some of the major vendors uh, you know are companies uh, you know like uh, uh, microsoft ifs nuvolo oracle overit ptc service max uh, service now service power and there are just a few of the major players of course there are a lot of other uh, companies for lack of uh, lack of time i'm not mentioning all of them and it's very interesting to see how these companies have built this portfolio 
so some of them have built it as uh, you know acquisitions bolt on acquisitions in organic while some have of course have grown as adjacencies is an organic growth so for instance if you take company like over it they were spun off from you know engineering group and now it's a separate entity entity backed up by uh, you know venture capitalists uh, then salesforce uh, is a uh, portfolio was uh, built on acquisition from click software then PTC acquired Service Max, which was earlier with a venture capitalist and earlier with G Digital. IFS has built their soft uh, portfolio through acquisitions again, and Clevest is one of the recent examples of those acquisitions. Then Mize and Cinecron have merged together, especially to serve the power business, the utilities business, which is talked about some time back. And then some of the companies who have done organic uh, growth strategies are ERP companies like SAP, Oracle, Microsoft. Uh, for them, they were the adjacencies since they were already doing ERP, CRM, and E and EAM, that is enterprise asset management. So FSM was a gradual extension of you know those growth strategies. So different vendors have built their uh, you know capabilities of FSM, uh, you know in different particular ways. So I guess this gives an overall glimpse about you know how FSM has evolved. Who are the major players? What are the major uh, trends? The differentiators and all these aspects into this particular uh, market that we have recently completed a study on. So where is this ultimately leading to? Ultimately, it's leading to what is called as the entire service lifecycle management. That is starting from the installation of the asset right up to its retirement. Uh, through the spare parts and everything so this is what actually the fsm journey would look like so i hope you find uh, this particular episode insightful uh, giving you insights about the fsm market and uh, we'll have more such episodes going forward stay tuned for more such episodes thank you mm-hmm.